Well, how do you do, everybody? Welcome to the second game of the home-home series. Conference play between the Dutcher Trevians and the Evanston Wildcats. And we get to play again at Northwestern University on the stadium field. Second year in a row we play here. Last year, uh, Evanston beat the Trevians here at the ball field, Hondike field at Rocky Miller Park. This is a turf field all the way around. Eric Nicholas will lead it off for the Trevians. And lead to, the reason I say turf field, right off the bat because it can lead to some very strange games. Uh, strange bounces. Pitch outside of ball, ball one. Eric Nicholas. Nicholas, Matt Can, and Kevin Donahue. Set the bat. Pitch on the way, in there for a strike. Nice crowd on hand again. Foul ball. We're in the television perch. And a ball outside. Delivery, well outside the ball. Temperature is not too bad. Got a strong wind blowing out the left field. Shot foul down the line. 25, 30 mile an hour wind blowing out. Up, throw. There's the first, the really out, one away. Here's Matt Can. Straight, straight one. Here the batter. Trevians <laughs> won a marathon game between these two teams, the first meeting of the series. Nice shot, base hit. Left. 
Donnie do a two out single. And Dylan Horvitz in the batter. Umpire is giving the outside corner here. Time called. Try again. Upstairs or downstairs, as far as where the pitches are crossing the plate here. Right, straight three. That will do it for the top of the first inning. No run. A hit and a man left. We go to the bottom half of the first. No score between Nutri and Evanston. Adam Geibel will lead it off for the Wildcats. Leading off the bottom of first. Guybel, DJ Johnson, and Chris Geibel. Brown. Geibel. Top of the batting order for Evanston. Straight, strike one. Sean Dewar on the mound. hitter. Right back up the middle, base hit single. Lead off the bottom of the first and B.J. Johnson, the batter. The good thing that Evanston played a game yesterday, or B.J. Johnson could not play today because of his Tyrate at the end of the uh, new Trier Evanson game. He struck out to end the game at the top of the seventh through his bat and his helmet. Ball ball. Four games in four days, and this is the fourth game in the set. Two crossover games with the Central Suburban North and the two Crosstown Rivalry. Strike three. And one away. And Chris Brown, the batter. Well, it's appropriate we're playing this game where we are. This is the Evanston home game, so predominantly in the ball field here at Northwestern is in Evanston. But 
you hit a foul ball out of this ballpark on the third base side. And it will land in New Trier Township. Mike Fowler taken throw. Nope. In the air. And over the third goes the runner. Runners at the corner. Guy at third. This Brown will stay at first. And Jesse Hire the batter. And he takes a strike. Light the dark. The press box casting a shadow over home plate. And straight. Bottom of the first inning. Side of all. If it weren't for the wind, it'd be fairly light today. Round ball, deep short. Throw in dive, but the run home and score. That's one of the Evans steps. Joe Epler at the batter. As we said, Dirk make for some strange bounces. Already had a couple of those. Pitch on the outside corner for a strike. Shot fair ball right down the line. And Cook Brown is going to go home. They stopped at third and then still had plenty of time to get home. Do nothing, Evanston. On the double by Epler. And Fletcher Brown battered. Take the strike on the inside corner. Strike what? Look back, the pitch, and outside the ball. Looked like that might have been a little high as well. They look in. Time called by Fletcher Brown. He's the catcher for the Wildcats. Look back a couple of times and a high founder picked up and in time. Sean Duer Sean, uh, to uh, Alarco. And the end of one, it's 2 0 Evanston over to Trier. We'll be back. You are watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Parents who host lose the most. Don't be a party to teenage drinking. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. 2 nothing. Evanston leading the Trevians as we go to the top of the second inning. And leading it off is Cam Redding. And the ball outside. Ball what? Redding, Calarco, and Jottleman. Two up here. Strike 
strike on the outside corner. Yeah, that's a base hit. Luck, a leadoff single. By Redding. And Anthony Calarco, the batter. And Calarco follows one off. Throw the first runner back. Inside the ball. I think the count's blackjack. Straight. Evens it up in deuces. Gentlemen, the batter. So two in scoring position with nobody out for the Trivians. They're spotting the Wildcats two in the bottom of the first. Strike what? Time call. Wine shot, and up over the second baseman. That's a base hit. That's going to score two. And the Trevians have tied this one up here in the top of the second at Deuces. RBI single for Jolleman. And hit Brian Kerwin. Strike on the outside corner. And big low ball. Today, I have a feeling. Ground ball. Pitcher. Shortstop on the first of the double play. 
and the top half of the second, but the Trubians tie it up at two. Uh, three hits. And it is knotted up as we go to the bottom half of the second. Jake Snyder. And Snyder, comebacker. Underhand toss from Duer. Larko for the out. One away. Here's Alex Moore. And he takes the pitch inside for a ball. Ball one. Duer delivers that side of ball. That big sweeping side winding pitch. Where's giving up the mound as a fielding position? The ball. B.J. Johnson. Swing and a high bounder, and he covers on the up. And they score that as a hit. Tough chance in the, on the turf field. So two out, and two out. Chris Brown, the batter. All the way. And outside of all. Chris Brown. 
imagine, pretty scary from a pitcher standpoint, simply by his size. High and outside the ball. And last year, I worked the other way. Big 6 7 Ben Breck, left hander. Intimidated people just by his size. And Chris Brown strikes out to end the inning. But the Wildcats regain the lead. It's three to two. Evanston over to New Trier as we go to the third. We'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Drive now. Text later. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the third inning. And right off the bat, Eric Nicholas. Line drive out. Out number one. That can't bat it. Hit it right on the button. But right at the shortstop for the out. Outside a ball. Swing it a bit. Off into the new Trier Township. Outside of all. Straight three. Inside corner. Two up, two down, and Kevin Donahue is the batter. And a ball, ball one. Wacker here. Get it out of this ballpark. Up over the press box. It can bounce into a windshield. Strike three. And we are done with the top. The third. The go quietly. No one, no hit, no air. Left. Go to the bottom half of the third. 3-2. Evanston leading the Trevians. Jesse High. Leading it off. And a ground ball. Knocked down. Won't be able to get him, though. Infield single. And Joe Epler, the batter. And 
Teague to strike on the inside corner on the offering from Sean Duer. Ground ball. Whoa! And that's a case of taking your eye off the ball. Think of what you're going to do with it before you had it. And an error. Two on, nobody out. Butcher Brown, ground balls. And the second baseman to first, nobody out. Runners advance to second and third. And Jake. Snyder is the So Snyder bat. One away. To a scoring position. Evanston already with a one run lead. And a pitch low and outside of all. load and strike on the outside corner. Ball ball. That is the new Trier dugout. Time called. And it was called by Dylan Horvitz. Infield pulled in, looking for a play at the play. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two away. Alex Moore, the batter. Take the pitch outside of all. And high of all, two and out. One thing about a game like this is you kind of get a playoff feel to this game simply because it's being played on a turf field, college dimensions. Tight game between two teams. He got hit by the pitch. More aboard. And Matt Reynolds, the batter. Bases are loaded. Bases loaded. For the kids. I mean, it's still a regular season game. Whatever, but you get kind of an extra edge. Big rivalry game. Nice steady, not just your high school field. Strike.
Bases remain loaded. Reynolds. Balls run up. Hanging tough. Shot. That's a base hit. That's going to score two. They're going to hold the runner at second for a single. And two aboard. And two more runs in. And it's a 5 2 ball game. There were the Wildcats. And Adam Geibel. Side of ball. <laughs> Needless to say, these teams are also in the same sectional pot. Obviously, we don't know where anybody's going to play yet, regional wise. But in the sectional, they're all together. Here, about half the sectional is coming out of the city. And the sectional championship game going to be played. In the city ball four. Geibel draws the walk. The sectional this year going to be played at uh, Harry Wood Park. Perry Woodfield. Wayne Tech. Outside of all.
With the third inning. It's 7-2, Evanston leading New Trier. We'll be back with more. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Be supportive, not intrusive. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the fourth inning. And Dylan Horvitz leaning it off to the Trevians. Pitch outside for a ball. Second, and coming on to score from first is Francis Bay. And it's 7 3 in favor of the Wildcats. And here is Anthony Calarco. Calarco doubles down the right field line. First time up, batting here. Second time. Gets a pitch inside for a ball. Trevian first baseman. And inside the ball, count goes Blackjack. 21. Field down the line. That's a fair ball. And second and third. And Redding had to wait up. And Patrick Jottleman. He singled last time up in the second inning. Driving home two. Strike on the outside corner. Time call. Alleman's 
steps out. Looks back to Swick. What a way. Yeah, Brian Kerwin to matter. So Kerwin bats. I'm called uh, a little confusion on the signs, I guess. Strike on the outside corner. going on. Chicago Sports Network. Hope you enjoy our baseball broadcast wherever you may be on the network line. Seven and New Trier four. The 
Wildcats batted around in the third. So Jesse Iyer will again lead off. New pitcher on the mound for the Trevians. Spencer Beacom. And a base hit single. Here's Joe Epler. A whoopsie swing, ball off. One year they played a super sectional here. There goes the runner. And on the second tag, they got it. Peyton Birch now the second baseman. Put the second tag on him. Trying to slide by the base. So what out? Epler the batter. And fall back. Whoa, didn't miss by much. Fletcher Brown, the batter. Beacom quickly into the wine. Just high a ball. ball one. Beacom, a 6 7 right handed junior. Straight. and leading new trick, and we'll be back. The Metro Chicago Sports Network affiliates, New Trier Television, Comcast, Northern Cook County, Highland Park Access, Southeastern Lake and Northeastern Cook County, AT&T Uverse, WOW, RCN Cable, and Selected Games on YouTube. Respect, sportsmanship, citizenship. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. You go to the top of the fifth inning, and Eric Nicholas leading it off for the Trevians. Get you outside the ball.
strike on the inside corner. And a line shot. That's going to be a gamper out there. The left fielder turned around the wrong way a little bit, too. And can in with a double. Kevin Donahue in the bat. And ground ball. Short stop up. Throwing, threw it away. And can trots over to third. The runners at the corners with one out. And Dylan Horvitz, the batter. Outside a ball. Gets away that'll allow Donahue over to second to its scoring position here. Line shot, base hit, back to defense, double for Horvitz. And it's a 7-6 ball game. Again, Francis Faye, the courtesy runner. And time called for a little strategizing. Cam Redding is the batter. And again, time called. Francis Faye with his lead off second. And pitch outside the ball. Strike on the outside corner again. A long look back to second. Line and once down the left field line. 
Kick outside a ball. Side corner. Metro Chicago Sports Network. We're at the top of the fifth inning. 7 6 ball game. Savians have roared back. There's a shot. Out to left center. Gets past the center fielder. Who's a little groggy out there. And Reading home to score, and the Trevians have come back and taken the lead, eight to seven, on the double by Clarko. And a change of pitchers here for the Wildcats. And gentlemen. Three at bats for Clarko. Three doubles. One to right field down the line, one to left field down the line, one to left center. And outside. Well, the gentleman. Still only one out. And fouled away. infield. Second baseman waits and takes the out. Two down. And Brian Kerwin the batter. And strike on the outside corner. Trevians come roaring back and have taken the lead eight to seven as we go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. And Jake Snyder will lead it off for the Wildcats. Takes a high ball, ball one. Yeah, hit 
by the pitch. So Snyder aboard to lead off the bottom of the fifth. And Eric, uh, Alex Moore. That's. Miss the ball. And the pitch high ball. No! And the error. Again, looking to do something with it before he had the ball. Second time that's happened to a Trevian fielder today. And here's Matt Reynolds. Two odd, nobody out. Which outside of ball. Trevians get it down to the show. They won state. It was 2009. 2007 to finish second in state. A long way away from that, though. We're still in the six weeks to the regular season here. The tie ball. Don't even worry about the playoffs. Of course, I think it's going to be a long time for new career teams to get to the point of the 99-2000 group. They went 15 to 16 those two years and the second to state in 99, one state 2000. Ball four. And that loads up the base. Hold by a Gibbs here. Adam Geibel for that. And the ball that's that. So Wild gets threatening. Possibly regain the lead here. Strike. And fly ball. Left fielder over. Take this for the out. Tag, and we are knotted up at eight. And Jake Snyder comes on the score. B.J. Johnson. He goes to punt, pops it in the air. And everybody's safe. On the infield single. That was going to be a tough play because of the high nature of that ball. That shot ball. Chris Brown. Bases are reloaded here. What out? And a straight. I think Chris Brown likes to extend those arms. He doesn't like that inside pitch. 
trouble with it. Which is high a ball. At least that's what I've noticed in a couple of times I've seen him at bat. And here in the New Tour game. And a little inside. Spencer Beacom. And strike three. Caught him looking on the outside corner. Big time strikeout. The base is loaded. There's Jesse Hart. Ground ball. Beacom flips to the shortstop. Fielder's choice. And we're done with five. All knotted up at eight. We'll be back with more. You are watching the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Drive at dusk, dawn, or night. Make sure you turn on your lights. A message into public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Well, I wish I knew how to count. Trevi did three years. But we're knotted up at eight as we go to the sixth inning. Peyton Birch. Batter. At least we're doing better than we did in the first game. First game, the two teams. Had seven errors between them. It's a strike. And a ball inside. Top of the sixth inning. And one of the problems is when you play four games, and now with the pitch count, four games in four days, and with the pitch count, if you don't manage your pitchers properly, you can run out of pitchers pretty easily here. With a strike, strike three. One away. And Eric Nicholas, the batter. Side of all. Line shot right at the shortstop. He hit second time that Nicholas has hit it right on the button and right at the shortstop. Two down. Here is Matt Kent. It's a ball. Side corner. Well, a lot of scoring in this one. 8 8 tie. Hold up. Make Northwestern University. Letting us play here. Ground ball, first baseman. Over the pitcher covering. 
Australians go quietly in the top of the six. No one, no hit, no air, no from the left. Go to the bottom half of the six. And Joe Epler laid it off for the Wildcats. And an 8 8 tie. Ball the way. What? Break two. to the out. Right away, here's Fletcher Brown. And pitch outside for a ball, ball one. in this ball game. Right bounder. Donahue over to Galarco just in the naked tag. Two up, two down. And here's Jake Snyder. He got hit by a pitch and came home to score the tying run. Getting in this one pop up. Taken by first baseman Clark over the out. Both teams go quietly in the sixth at the end of six. We're knotted up at eight. We'll be back. The home of North Shore High School Sports. This is the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Plan to arrive. Don't drink and drive. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Top of the seventh inning. And Kevin Donahue leading it off. Takes the ball. Ball two. Three, four, and five in the Trevian's batting order. Two up here in the inning. And a ball. And high and outside, ball four. So Donahue. Leads off the top of the seventh with a walk. And here's Dylan Horvitz. Short punt, throw to first, runner back. Showing Bunn. Pulled it back, took the pitch outside. Well, time called a little discussion out on the mound. Yeah. 
Again, Horvitz showing bunt, pulled it back. Took a strike on the inside corner. all three times and scored three runs. A single, double, and a walk in his previous plate appearances. Hanging outside a ball. on the day with a walk. And here is Anthony Clarko. He has doubled all three times he's been at bat. Trouble drops in, but the base hit and knocked down, and another double for Calarco. And a run home. The Trevians have taken the lead. Here's Jottleman. And pull the infield in. And now an intentional walk. Gentlemen. That will load up the bases. And bring up Peyton Birch. So the intentional walk fills up everything. Trev's on all the bases. Nutra now leading this one and Carter Heisinger. Brian Kerwin. Right. 
Heisinger? I don't know. Maybe even try a suicide squeeze. You get somebody who really knows how to bunt. This is high ball. thought he had the walk. So two down. And Peyton Birch the bat. Time call. Outfield playing pretty much straight away, but by doing that, they really give up the foul lines in the big outfield of uh, regular university. Major League Dimension Ballpark. Strike. Set the ball hard each time today, just right at somebody. Pitch outside a ball. Runners with their lead, bases remain loaded. Pitch is in there for strike on the outside corner. Oh, 
line, shot back up the middle. That's a base hit. A single going to score two. And the Trevians for the four run out first here in the top of the seventh inning. Matt Cam, the batter. Reloads the bases for Kevin Donahue, the 10th man to bat in the inning. Donahue batting for the second time. And first pitch inning, long fly ball out over the head of the center fielder. Going to bounce to the 400-plus sign out there. And Donahue in the third to stand up triple. Clearing the bases. And three more runs off. That's seven runs in here in the end. And the Trevian bleed 15 to 8. Here's Dylan Horvitz. Seven run outburst, which is high a ball. So runners at the corners for the Trevians. Cam Redding, the batter. Cam's had a hot bat today. Three for three officially on base all four times. And has scored four runs out of the 15 the Trevians have scored. That's because Anthony, that's a base hit. Right down the line. And that's going to go all the way to the fence. Here comes Francis Fay around from first base. There's the pitch runner for Corbett. And two more runs in. Here's Anthony Calarco. A left-handed pitcher out there. Calarco will bat right-handed. And Paul. Calerco, batting four for four. Two singles and two doubles. Anthony Calerco is four for four with four doubles. And a year for the second time in the top of the seventh inning. And the Trevians have busted this one wide open. Second. Nine runs in here in the inning. Seventeen to eight now. K 
came into this inning tied at eight. single and the tenth run of the inning and Redding home the score two on and Carter Heisinger the bat Outside of all. A 10 run outburst. And high and outside of all. Now, why couldn't the Trevians get up 18 to 8? Get up by 10 runs earlier in the ball game instead of the top of the seventh. Got to play a full game down no matter what. Ah, well. Runs on 16 hits. Ball ball. Once again, the bases are loaded. And here's Peyton Birch. Inside the ball. Try a ball. The look at and they pitch and high and outside a ball. Well, Peyton got an RBI his last time up. I walk him with the base is loaded. Strike on the outside corner. Thought he had another RBI. Now the delivery. Round ball, short stop. Steps on the back, field is choice. And we're done with the top of the seventh inning. A remarkable inning for the Trevians. Ten runs. 
on six hits. Fortunately, six walks, and they left three on base. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And a little bloop, and base hit, single. Porter with the single. Pitch batter. And here's Matt Reynolds. Pitch high a ball. Base Ball game. One of the longest we've had this year. Great three. Yeah, one away. Back to the top of the batting order. Adam Geibel, the batter. And strike, strike one. Look over. And the ball gets away on the inside pitch. And Porter over to second. I and tie the ball. J. Johnson, the batter. And pops one fall. And a light shot. That's up over the head of the left fielder. Back to the warning track. That will score. One. And it's a 18-9 ball game. And Chris Brown, the batter. on the outside quarter. And pitch high a ball. Spencer Beacom still on the mound. Second out of the inning. And Jesse Heyer, they clean off that. Pitch inside for a ball. Ball 
two. down the right field line. And that's going to score two more runs for the Wildcats. And holding up a second tire with the double. And it's an 18-11 ball game. Here's Joe Epler. Pitch outside, a ball. Ball two. Bottom of the seventh. Get a strike on the outside corner. Fletcher Brown, the batter. He has grounded out his previous four plate appearances. And round ball, shortstop. Donahue over the first and the ball game is all over. And the new Trevians win this one 18 to 11 with a 10 run top of the seventh inning. And we'll be back in just a moment to wrap this one up. More action ahead on the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Buckle up, Illinois. It's the law. A message in the public interest from the Metro Chicago Sports Network. Well, another wild game between Nutra and Evanston. Final word on this game for the Nutra Trevians. 18 runs on 16 hits. Three errors for the Trevians. Uh, the graphic's wrong there. Three errors for the Trevians. They were struck out nine times. Walked seven. And the Trevians seven times, and uh, the Trevians left six on base. But the Evanston Wildcats, 11 runs on 12 hits, one error. They were struck out seven times by Trevian pitchers. They were walked five, and the Wildcats left 10 on base. So that'll do it for us for this ball game. Join us for more sports action on the network as we continue our baseball coverage. And for all of us, we say as always, 